Wow. Look at the size of that. I'm gonna need a bigger gun. Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Void Train. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually inside the depot right now. Uh, after the last episode, uh, I logged on for a little bit and I wanted to do a little bit of gathering of resources. Uh, back to train up about, I don't know, about a kilometer until the hit the stopper there and I was just picking up whatever I could. And then when I came back, I decided to, you know, leave the train like really fairly close to the gate so you could actually see the gate and set, uh, through the fog and all that stuff. And then I loaded back up, I was in here. There's no enemies around or anything like that, but uh, here we are. Uh, I planted some tea. I don't know what I'm going to need it for, but it is there. Uh, I do have those two chests up there. We're going to open up in a second, but one of the things I have done, uh, it's not on me. i got to figure out what I did. Oh, as you can see, I made a few more of the bigger chests, and I did some organization. So I got my scrap metal in there. My iron goes in there. And here I had wood in there. I had copper, chemicals, fat zinc more wood and then i had seeds in here uh the tea the the prophecy i did look into the prophecy and apparently in one of these depots i'm gonna find an artifact that i install on the train and the the artifact as you can see gives us buffs this one actually didn't even notice this until now is pro frequency of leeches 10 percent so that means if i have this prophecy installed in the artifact it's going to give me a 10 percent higher chance of leeches which I don't know what it's for, but uh, we'll figure that out. Uh, again, on this side here, I have all, all five of these crates here. Oh, no, up to here. Uh, these are all the gun parts that I have, so I'm thinking about uh, possibly adding another wagon while we're here at this depot, and we'll make that an armory because I do have the, the armory workbench over there. I uh, had some other stuff. I had lots of leather. I have no idea what I'm going to need for it, but this is actually what I needed. Uh, I did make the copper, or the brass and the zinc, or steel uh that was actually something that too about uh about this uh, smelter too uh it doesn't actually use wood for fuel and if i go and change this out there's no wood here it's because it needs a higher temperature so it's going to be coal coal briquettes uh sterilizer sturdy wood gasoline chunks gasoline container uh this stuff i can actually make over here in the lab and i can't remember what this was this was organics and heavy cat unstable chemicals which is just chemicals so organics and chemicals which are floating around everywhere in the void so technically free fu fuel i don't need to use to build stuff with uh anyways uh let's get some research done here so i'm sorry about that uh first let's get the brass wire out of the way i gotta see what i need for the the workbench i think i need wood for that yes i did all right so I'll go and research that i'll run over here grab some wood it'd be nice if we had some signs Instead of having to remember where everything is, I'm thinking about uh, possibly having a third row going down there, or making a larger, what should we call it, uh, larger wagon. See what kind of resources we have, and see what we get out of the chest too. And now for this, now I have absolutely no idea what's beyond this. I'm further ahead than anybody I've seen actually play the game, and up into the boiler upgrade. Okay, so that's actually something that's doable. What is that? I guess that's something we gotta make in a second workbench. And the second workbench is gonna need everything that I just used to research it, which is gonna be workbench two. Yes. Four brass, four steel, four planks, and, or four wood, and two bolts. Alright, so that is interesting. And uh, let's actually see what I have for that. Um, the brass, I believe, was a bar of cop zinc, or a copper and some zinc. These are the only two recipes I have right now, so the iron and the zinc, I don't really have anything for that, so uh, we might have to do that for the next depot, because I think the only iron I have left is that, and then whatever scrap I got in here, so I got 10 iron, and if I want to add another platform, that's going to be, I think, 10 or 12. Uh, I have gone around and gathered all this stuff, so that's basically what I have is what you see there. Uh, I do have all this stuff here we gotta do something with eventually. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, let's go open up these boxes and see what we got. Sleep on the job again, of course. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got. 
there was nothing exciting here at all. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta pull out this and interact with it. And everything goes flying out. What do we get today? Ooh, more mushrooms. I'll have to make use of a flea one of these days. And I got some more seeds, pepper seeds. Um, I think I can... Uh, after the steam boiler upgrade, there might be a uh, uh, cooking upgrade. Yes, that's what it is. All right, so let's grab the other chest. I'll go run down there. It's funny, I can run with it on my backpack, but I can't actually run with it in my hands. Okay, and... Anything good? Ooh, strange seeds. Not enough room for that. I uh, got some ice, another mushroom, that's always good. Ooh, we got more seeds. Uh, pepper seeds. Anyways, I'll clean this up and I'll bring you back. Okay, didn't really get anything too much of interest. I uh, got some more uh, strange seeds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Strange seeds, more pepper seeds in there. I know we can actually grow this for food. Um, also got this thing here too, an uh, uncalibrated flame mag and a bonus. So I'm guessing this is going to be adding like fire damage to the bullets or something like that. Uh, I know with the workbench here, I can actually craft, uh, customize weapons like this. I can even take them apart and sort of create my own weapon, for instance. So when I come into these places, I don't have to rely on uh, this thing here, which is, uh, I'm sure, half my problems. The other half is just me. Uh, so yeah, for the, the iron here, or yeah, the iron, I got 25 there, and I got another 36, so I can make nine, 8, 36, 18 ingots, so that's 20. Now I wanted to add another platform if I could. We can worry about the steam engine upgrade next time because we're not actually using the boiler right now. Uh, we're running without fuel. Alright, so, uh, yeah, empty reflingo cage too. Sadly, not that we don't have it enough or we don't use them at all. Oh, and there's some wood next to me. I'm to grab that. So if I want to add a wagon, so I need four, six, eight, ten. So I can add a wagon, I can even upgrade this one too. And I think I'm actually going to do that. So let me smelt the iron and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just making up the bearings now. I got everything else ready to go. So we're going to be able to extend the train and then we'll look at the boiler upgrade uh, as we go along. Uh, see what we need to research that again. Three steel. Well, we got to make the other workbench too to figure out exactly what those things are there. Uh, unless they're actually in here, which I don't think they are. I have absolutely no idea what that is. Uh, it's not showing here. Alright. So, let us go and uh, expand our train. Alright, so we want to go to this car here. We're going to upgrade this. Okay. Oh, I'm at my limit here. Alright, well, let's save us some resources then. And I can't upgrade that. Yeah, so I think I need the boiler upgrade to actually continue on. Still gets a lot of a lot of room back here. I can set up the armory bench in the back here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, gotta get the hammer out. Uh, let's hit the right button here. Hammer. Grab some wood. Not that I don't have any. And then. Oh no! I actually want uh, crafting book. That's what I want. Yes. All right. Simple. All done. So now I'm just going to move that up over here, and then we got to get some more shelving, and eventually I start taking care of my uh, fuel situation. Uh, what I might do, because uh, I was thinking about making ammo too, and I don't know where I would make that. No, it would be in the consumables. Uh, ammo is iron and uh, the gunpowder. Now what was the gunpowder? I think the gunpowder was, yeah, wood and unstable chemicals. Hmm. It might be doable. Uh, but apparently one box is six round, or one box is 20 rounds, and I have six rounds. So that is good. Uh, that, I think that's it. Let's actually find out. I'm gonna quickly do this. Okay, gunpowder is made. Fairly simple. So let's, uh, go and see if this makes me one box or 20 boxes. Or, yeah, 20 boxes. I think it's gonna make me one box, so in that case that means, uh, it's, uh, I've got a fair amount of ammo for the next station. I'll just make sure I use the right gun this time. And... Oh, it actually does give me... 20. 
Huh, okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm gonna put this way, and I think we're gonna roll on with it. Did that change on me? I could have sworn that was more boxy before. Uh, anyway, uh, let me put some stuff away and we'll head off. Okay, uh, let's roll. Oh, I wanted to see what happens and go the other way. Oh well, too late. Oh, who turned out the lights? Was it you? You with your glowing purple eyes. Can you see a galaxy in there? I have no idea, but I do know we gotta watch out for this big flying thing. Any narration? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't sound like it, I should say. Uh, let's see if I got any friend nearby. Doesn't look like it. Not yet, anyways. Anyway, same old stuff. I'm gonna continue on here and I'll bring you back if I find anything interesting. Meanwhile, I'm gonna gra gather up everything I can so we can do as much as we can. Uh, I know I'm boring. <laughs> I put them all to sleep. That's hilarious. Okay, I've been rolling along here for about 10 15 minutes now and got some fireflies, so I thought I'd go uh, check them out, see what they got to offer. Uh, so I'm gonna go head down there, see what kind of chests we get, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so here we are, and it just seems to be those ones there, which is right there, but I could have sworn I saw. Oh, yeah, there's a beam over here, too, so I guess we have two puzzles in one. Maybe. So that's what we have here. So we have the octopus, fish, fish, and starfish. Alright. So we'll tether over here. Then I'll just potato down there. So let's see here. Octopus. Fish. Fish. And what was the last one? Oh, no. Not that. And then starfish. So this is one. Okay, let's go grab that. And let just put that on my back. Now, yeah, there's two of them here. Well, I'll be. I guess I gotta go back. I don't know. There's more. You could find more than one here. Uh, so let me do that, and then I'll bring you back for the other one. Okay, I think I got this one. Just a matter of this board that being in the way, I think. Or this thing too. I think that was it. Come on. I think that was it. Nope, not quite. Still in the way. Yeah, power place of tether. Uh, hmm. Don't I have a stone anywhere here somewhere? I, uh... Not really. I guess I got tether on this thing and just... Keep pushing it, I guess. Not much else I can do. There we go. And that is chest number two. Now, I don't think there's any others around here. Uh, doesn't look like it. So now, uh, back to the train. Wow, would you look at that? There's actually three of them here. This is the one where I have to try to figure out what he's trying to say. So I got these two here, and then probably the other two in the other house. This is, uh... First two houses that were nearby when we entered the area. Let's see what's up here. Nothing. But anyways, we're gonna be in these two houses here. Or is it? Okay, we got three things we gotta do this time. Now it's just a matter of finding them. There's two there. There was two over there. 
And there's probably two on here somewhere. Hmm. Anyway, uh, that is number three. Let me do this and I'll bring you back when that's done. Okay, I dropped the chest off and I'm back here. So let's see what he's got to, got to say. Why am I not getting rid of that thing out of my ha fingers, uh, hands? Yeah, okay. Okay, well, I think I got got it figured out. The first one was going to be uh, uh, the princess or whatever. And then it was going to be the frog. So, let's uh, go to... Oh, yeah. That's right. That's actually the wrong gun we want to use for this. That's the right tool for the job. So we got her. And then... Uh, there was one in here, was there not? Oh, hey, how did I get that back? I have no idea. Uh, where was the other one? So, yeah, the other ones were in here. Now, how did I get in here again? Through the roof. Okay. So, it wasn't that one. No, it was, uh... Where was the other one? The other one, the other one was... Oh, yeah, up on this floating mountain over here. Yeah, I actually found them behind this tree. Okay, toad. And then by process of elim elimination, we should be able to get this one per fairly easy. Can I get in there? Yes, I can. Let's glitch myself to the wall. Okay, let's see, is it you? Nope, wasn't you. There we go. Just like that. Alright, uh, thank you. And uh, thank you for the treasures. And I think that is probably the last one that's around here. Can't tell anything with this smog, huh? Anyway, I shall be back. Okay, I'm back. And I uh, just happened to come across a, an abandoned train car here. I thought we'd go and check it out, see if there's anything good in here. Uh, I have been making everything for the. Excuse me. Uh, for the workbench, too. So we'll see what kind of stuff we can make with that. I'm hearing something. Where is that buzzing coming from? Hmm. I'm hearing something. Oh, hello. Free stuff. Yeah, I am hearing a buzzing from somewhere. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, I didn't know you could find uh, crates on here. That's cool. It must be those lights. You know, you know those oil lamps are so noisy. That's why we don't we don't use them anymore, right? Well, that was pretty cool. Is there anything underneath it? Eh, probably not. Too bad we couldn't scrap it for scrap. But yeah, uh, let me go check on everything else and see how we're at. I think uh, we'll be able to make that workbench too pretty quick. Okay, so the brass should be ready, so we'll go ahead and do that, and then uh, bring up our handy dandy book here, and go ahead and make the workbench too. Um, no idea where I'm going to put it. You got a workbench, uh, the workbench here, uh, let's actually move it, uh, let's get out of here, yeah, let's actually move this stuff here, place uh, that there. I'll just pick up the other one and I'll actually crush it. Just get it out of here. Let's take it on space. Alright. Now, I have to spend wood to move this thing because I place it down. That's not what I want to do. Uh, hold T. Go to the hammer. Go here and G. Relocate. Alright. And we rotate. And I think that's the right way. Or is that the right way? I think that's the right way. Okay, and we get out of here, and oh, let's see what we can create in here. Nothing, no. Sturdy bolts. 
interesting. Okay, there we go. Brass plate. So that's what I need. So I need brass and copper tube. I guess that's what it is. And let's have brass wire here. Oh yeah, that's thing I research. All right. So what do we need for this engine upgrade? Uh, three steel, three of those things, and three gears. Okay, so what was uh, that again? That was brass and copper. So I need three steel, three brass, and three copper pipe. Sounds e easy. Okay, I should have then. I went ahead and made the steel, got the other, uh, the brass plates made, and the gears, and go ahead and research this. Now, I think this will actually allow me to expand the platform. Thickener. Interesting. Lab 2. Sealants. Uh, economical synthesis. Reduces fuel cost, but... Oh, interesting. That's actually fairly simple to do. And then we have sturdy wood planks. What is that? Hmm. Oh, is that thickener? I'm not too sure. Uh, anyway, I can see I have a lot of resources, resources I gotta gather, so... Um, let's actually see what was in here again quickly. I don't think I looked over then. Yeah, it's just the three things that we have for now. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna continue carry on and I'll bring you back when I uh, find another train, find another puzzle with some chests, or something terribly goes wrong. So it seems we're coming up to another arena. And so it seems I'm not going to be stopping. I think I'm going to let it go this time. I don't really have, I might do go in there when I get a better ammo supply or actually put a decent weapon together. But for now, we'll let them sleep. Okay, came across more fireflies, so I'm gonna head down there and see what they have to offer. I can almost see. You can see them all the way down there, but I don't really see what kind of puzzle it is. But anyways, I'll be back. Okay, as you can tell by the sound, we have reached the, the very large voidy gate. Uh, no space to provide, take that out though. Yeah, no inventory space. Ha ha ha. Uh, yeah, I have been gathering up the storm, trying to get what I can. I have made copper, I have made iron, as you can see. I uh, made a little bit of food. I haven't made any brass or steel yet, because I'm just trying to keep my inventory clutter-free. Hasn't been going the greatest, but uh, here we are. Um, what else do I have on me? Uh, oh yeah, lots of stuff. Uh, so what I want to do is I actually want to take the... Uh, one of these guns in with me and take uh, some proper ammo and hopefully I do a little better this time instead of uh, spending 20 minutes trying to shoot at the guys while they're shooting at me and I'm not doing anything to them uh, no fuel that's fine because I have no inventory space ah go away oh, that's what I want to do and I don't know why it's giving me that um, like in the fuel there, it's giving me the sort of circles around the, the coal. Anyway, uh, so we have that. I do want to replace that armor plating too. I think I probably should do that. So, it's, uh, nope, uh, it's the wrong table. Go here, consumables, one of those, create that. I'll go ahead and have a bit of a snack before we leave. Eat that. Oh, that's not what I want. Put the iron away or whatever I can. Uh, okay, and then like so. Uh, sure, throw the coal in there too. Don't really care about anything else. Okay, grab the plating. Go ahead and use that. And grab the ammo. All right, we're gonna take. Are we gonna take a number one? Oh yeah, take it number two. I have no, no idea which one would be better. I think it's taking the same gun. Anyway. Actually, I think this one would be better. No, not that one. This one. Got the... 
No, let's actually check the, try this one out. I don't think I've actually shot this one yet. And it was in this chest. The Fast Enhancer. Oh, that actually went in my inventory by mistake. Alright. Is that the Fast Enhancer? Apparently, I had no idea. They all look the same to me. Okay, let's roll. Grab some scrap along the way. Anyway, I'm gonna do a cut here and I'll bring you back as we're just approaching the gate. And here we are. The old dramatic scene. And again, once again, I had this massive lag spike as I was coming close to it. Uh, I didn't get it on camera, but here it is. Hey, God. Sorry, I was a bit of a yawn. Okay, so let's get ready. Let's actually get on the train if I can. Too late. I know I can get on the train, but let's see who we come up against. Yeah, I haven't used this one yet, I don't think. Can we hurry up a little bit? Ooh. Might not be the right gun for it, but we'll find out. Why are we going so slow? That's weird. That's not. Nothing new. Makes me wonder if I got another bleach in my train here. Okay. Where's the hostiles? Find the artifact. Aha. Yeah. Gotta use some baddies around here. Can't tell me that you're gonna give me an important part of the game and not have me up against like 50 guys in one shot. Apparently so, and give me a whole bunch of resources at the same time. Alright, well, let's put that away. And, uh, let's go find this artifact. Get a prophecy. Oh, hello. Uh, do I have inventory space? I do. Okay, which is this one? Speed of swimming in the void minus 15%. I don't know if that gives me faster spin, uh, swimming or what. Alright, so I have the artifact. Or, yeah. On the handle of the trolley. Oh. I'm gonna say I don't have a handle. Oh, hello. And now what do we do? Artifact. Okay, getting prophecies from the chests on the uh, Orphan Susa. For each negative effect of a prophecy, you receive a positive effect. Okay. Oh. Okay, speed of swimming in the void is minus 15%, more items of the void is times 1. Let's go see what the other one does. This is interesting. I thought it was going to be like seriously negative effects. This might not be too bad, so. Uh, let's see here. Frequency of leech is plus 10%, but I get more metal. I actually like that. It's not bad. This is actually quite interesting, I like it. I wonder if we should go with that, just because I don't think that takes any fuel. Alright, so what do I have on me? I have... stuff. Let's go ahead and get rid of said stuff. Or some of it, anyways. Let's go open up some chests. It's like Christmas. Actually, I gotta go gather up some resources and all that stuff, so let me do that and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. I didn't really find too much. I found a little bit of a little bit of uh, scrap and a little bit of wood, and I think that was about it, really. Anyway, uh, let's open up these boxes. See what kind of goodies we get. Probably stuff I have absolutely no inventory space for. More mushrooms. I'd probably start using those. And look at that inventory space. Now, what kind of seeds? Oh, we got tomato seeds. Cool. All right, so that is one. Uh, okay, so I gotta clear my inventory a little bit better. I'll be right back. Okay, that took a minute. So let's see what's in the next box. I keep forgetting I can't run with this thing. I'm holding down shift, not realizing it's not doing anything. And. More seeds, more scrap. Let's see what kind of seeds we got here. More strange seeds. Alright, well, let me do the old man uh, inventory management section here, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I didn't really find too much. I got a few more weapon mods. I got a few more seeds and just the usual scrap, wood, and chemicals. Uh, so, yeah, we got I'm thinking we'll get a little bit more research done before this episode is done, and we'll carry on the next one. Uh, so, first thing we're going to do is uh, start with. Uh, I want to get the thickener done. Uh, thickener needs two of the. I believe that's resin. This also needs five resin, so I'm gonna make seven of that. And then resin, I believe, all we'll find out here is actually wood and chemicals. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that. Okay, so the last two are being cooked right now. And then uh, what else did we need for it? We needed one zinc and two heavy chemicals, or unstable chemicals. Uh, I did a little bit of storage expansion too. Now uh, I got these six set up. These are all large chests. They're going to be for any of the weapon parts that we come across. Uh, for now, these two are going to be wood. These two are going to be chemicals. And I was looking for chemicals. Uh, what else do I need? I honestly can't remember. Okay, we'll take that. Then we go over here. Oh, yeah, zinc. Zinc, zinc, zinc. Zinc should be in here. Uh, inventory space. Oh, we have it now. Okay, and that'll give us that'll give us thickener in just a moment. So I make two of those. Throw some wood in there. Uh, oh, I keep wasting it. I'm having one of my days. Yeah. Anyway, I'll go grab another stack of wood since I have it somewhere. Plus, lots of other things in my inventory I have got no room for. There we go. Now we go and finish this. Hey, like so. Go over here. That give us thickener. Now give us a ch allows us to make sturdy wood. All right. So here is where we're gonna need. Might be able to do that. Uh, I gotta make the thickener for this. And... Economic synthesis. Let's actually go ahead and do that one. Get that out of the way. I gotta get more chemicals. And chemicals. Yes. It's always handy to actually have things organized so you know where everything is. Instead of trying to open every box about a million times. Oh, it's not in there. It's not in there. Oh, well, I haven't checked in here. I'll check again. I need more chemicals. Need more chemicals. Always need more chemicals. And yet, I've been letting this stuff float by, just not picking it up. And here I am needing it like there's no tomorrow. A lot of micro crafting in this game, that's for sure. Okay, that's that. Now, okay, that's making that. I gotta make the. I have a feeling the thickener is gonna be required in the lab. Find out as soon as that's done. Uh, what do we need for the lab? We need two brass, four brass, and I think two steel. Let's see here. Yeah, two steel, two brass, and I've got the copper. Okay, so we got copper, copper, zinc. Oh, I'm gonna need some coal. I guess we'll grab some coal now. I have. In here. Yes. Okay. This thing is a pig on coal, too. 
Okay, do that. And we we'll make uh, two of these. I'm gonna make some steel as well. Uh, okay, we take that, and then we can go ahead and research economical synthesis. Fuel savings for chemicals. Okay, so we're gonna make thickener in that. I don't think I can make the thickener in here. I think that's gonna be the lab too. Yeah. So that means I gotta do this. So I'll bring you back when the steel's done. Okay, there is the steel. So now I gotta make the two sturdy bolts. I think it was two sturdy bolts. Yes, it was. We made two sturdy bolts. And I also gotta make. Uh, what was the other thing I gotta make here? Uh, what is that thing? And I think I need a pipe for that. I gotta wait for this is done. That I don't wanna. I don't wanna make the wrong thing if I'm mowing supplies at the moment. Okay, we pick up that. And then this. Copper wire. Ooh, that was a close one. Alright, so. Two copper wire. Now. I think I need to make two more brass. No, I don't, actually. I have them already. No, I don't, actually. I do have to make two more. <gasps> and I need one more copper. There's a the copper. And I go in here and make two more brass. While that is doing that, I'm going to use the brass I have already to make two brass wire. And hopefully they'll finish roughly around the same time. So let me do that. I'll be right back. Okay, almost done. Three, two, one. And done. Okay, so that is... Me lacking wood. Surprise, surprise. Not anymore. Give me about five minutes and I won't have any wood. And then I gotta make the thickener too, but we just gotta make that in here. Which means I need all that, all those supplies to make the lab again. Okay, because I wanna do that, and then we'll see what that unlocks next. So, let's see what I have to... I need for this. Uh, smelter too. Ooh, it's a nice big lab. So I need four brass. Two steel, two copper. Alright. I shall take care of that. Okay, I am pretty much done. I'm uh, just crafting up the sturdy bolts right now. I gotta grab a stack of wood. I know five doesn't really count as a stack, but there it is. Alright, so I should have enough. And I think I'm gonna try to fit it right in here if I can. Uh, oh yeah, that's the wrong thing. Okay, and that is actually gonna fit perfectly. Come on, come on. Eventually, there we go. Just leave it right there, and turn it around. Ha ha ha. Alright, let's get the hammer out. And see if we can actually rotate this. Nope. Oh, um, no, filter to objects, yes. There we go. That looks like a lab. Okay. Why is it bringing that button up again? Okay, I want to get rid of the throwing rings. Come on. There we go. Okay. Thickener. Isn't too bad. What is this? Sealant. Huh, interesting. Alright, so one heavy chemicals, one resin, and one zinc. And the resin, I believe was wood and chemicals. Alright, well, let me make some, some of this stuff up and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I have everything. So, let's go over to the lab. And... Oh, you gotta use coal, don't you? Of course you do. Of course you do. Uh, well, I guess I have to find a coal chunk here. I got one right here. Go over here and I'll grind this puppy up into this and I definitely have to start collecting more chemicals and start making my own fuel. Okay, now I do that and run back over here. Give it coal. And we go ahead and we make 
a thickener. I'm going to make five of them just because. Takes 20 seconds each. And then from there, we're going to go on here and we're going to research uh, sturdy wood. And that'll probably be all we do for this episode. Uh, we did get the artifact though. I can't wait to give this a good run next episode. Uh, next episode. That's going to give us 10%. Gives us more metal and more items in the void. With more leeches and uh, apparently a swimming debuff. That's uh, going to help us uh, make us swim slower. Anyway, 20 seconds. Okay, we should have three ready. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. We'll go over here. And we'll research that. Sturdy wood. Which apparently that's really good fuel too. Alright, what is next? Damper. Huh. Winch drive increases distance of the winch. Interesting. Cool. No idea what the damper's for, though. It's almost like a shock absorber of some sort. No clue. We'll figure it out eventually, though. Uh, until then, I believe... Hang on. What I think we're going to do is we're going to head on out. And uh, we'll end the episode after Pass to the Void Gate, just in case we get any... Uh, um, any lore stories or anything but uh, yeah let's see what happens uh, what was that I have no idea what would happen if I jumped off while I was right there if I get dragged along alright and away we go Whoa. It's quite interesting to see. Uh, what I do want to do... I want to get some ammo. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, where's the break? Where's the break? Give me the break. Stop this for now. Uh, I actually want to give this gun a good, good run for you. No, where are you? Where are you? I know you're around. You're always around. Oh, look at that. There's actually more stuff around. There you are. I think the other gun was doing more damage. Let's see here. Faster, uh, faster fire rate. And that's gonna be the end of my ammo. Yep, that is it. Anyway, I think that's a good place to call it here. I'm gonna finish off this guy and I'll finish off the episode. So, uh, once again, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.